the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number 40, right? You kind of talked about it early in the show, but we saved right. the best part for right now. So what do you got to say about this one, Jack? So this one, um, if there's a naysayer out there, they would say, well, you know, it's not really popping yet on the secondary market. You're right. But I think there's a reason for that. Speculators can only spend their money so many places. And it seems like Marvel Comics Presents 6 and Canto were the two places that Mar that speculators drove to. But one thing I'm noticing from almost every hall picture, this book is included. Um, again, Necessary Evil kicks off their big year-end story. This is this is the story for Power Rangers this year. New, they have a new writer taking over the helm, Ryan Parrott, who writes Go Go Power Rangers. You're going to see some synergy with Go Go Power Rangers. So also, don't overlook the Go Go Power Rangers series and the upcoming releases there. Um, we see the first appearance of a new team. It's too early to tell yet where this is going to go. But and definitely, this was on more people's radar than Power Rangers 25, which is the first book in Shattered Grid. So that book sold out. But if you've gotten a chance to see this foil variant um, in person, that um, Mercado uh, helmet foil variant, it is gorgeous. The cardstock variant um, really stunned me when I got that in the mail to really kind of like look at that in person. Um, there's also the variant that you can see with the that looks like a trading card. That is what it is. It's a trading card variant. It's by Chris Anka who's known for a lot of Marvel variants. It's pretty cool because it's actually the back of the book actually has kind of like the tr back of a trading card. And that's going to be an initiative going forward. There's going to be trading card variants throughout uh, this series, one in 25s. There will also be those foils for issues 40 through 49. Keep an eye out for that. I think those sets are going to do pretty nicely. They've already solicited a few more going forward. Um, I think there's the Red Ranger for 41, Pink for 42, um, so that's something to keep an eye out for. Um, but this book also slipped in at the last second, a one in 50 Jamal Campbell uh, incentive. And that book is doing well. Now, again, they're going for slightly below ratio, but a lot of boom variants get sold by retailers below ratio. So they're, they're still kind of at their initial selling cost or a little bit more. But the point of this segment is to talk about long-term plays. And I really like this as a long-term play. Again, follow the money. Um, boom is behind this book. Uh, there are some amazing retailer exclusive variants that were created. Um, there's an ASM 300 homage. There's a um, uh, Superman 233 homage. Uh, there's some amazing Scorpion Comics, Clayton Crane variants. Um, it seems like retailers saw this one coming i think boom did a great job marketing this book to retailers and that has maybe slowed down the secondary market sales but that's fine because you have opportunities to buy right now um so be on the lookout for this one you can already see some of those uh retailer exclusive variants like the crate and claim one crate and claim crane one excuse me you know we butcher names here on the simplements <laughs> comics youtube channel and, and it doesn't get easier than clayton crane but um yeah so the Clayton Crane variant is doing like 65 bucks on eBay. <clears throat> so that's something to keep an eye out for. Um, and that variant that's next to the cover A, where you kind of see the word bubbles, that was a like last second FOC variant. A lot of people didn't order that. I personally didn't order it. Um, it kind of went under my radar. Um, so that one is one to kind of keep an eye out. Not, not necessarily the most attractive. Marvel hasn't done well with those like interior page covers. But um, I think it'll be very, very low printed. And I, again, Power Rangers was purchased by from Saban by Hasbro. Um, they're looking to develop this world, make it more accessible to a larger community. Um, and I am really bullish on Power Rangers as a property. I think it's going to be big in the future for movies. I think Lord Draken is here to stay. Um, and I think that... Uh, you know, bringing back the White Ranger, introducing a new Power Rangers team is going to be just so the beginning of a storyline that's going to excite Mighty Morphin Power Rangers fans. And hopefully we'll grab a few of you who haven't yet jumped on board with Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. But if you're a longtime speculator who likes these kinds of plays, you know, um, I know Gary Nusser mentioned it on uh, the Bolo a comment. Shout out to Gary Nusser, excellent uh, speculator from the comic book Deconspective. Um, he, he mentioned in a comment on the Bolo article on comicbookinvest.com 
that, you know, he's been making money for years on Power Rangers first appearances, whether it's the Ranger Slayer or Draken or different variants and homages. So Power Rangers variants, I think, and Power Rangers is here to stay. Uh, be on the lookout for it. Make sure you grab these from your LCS. This is one I think is going to pop over the next couple months. 